What is up? All right, so today I want to talk with you about um, IoT. So lately I've been really getting into IoT and I've been wanting to build web applications that actually interact with the physical world and recently I came across this really cool product and company called Particle and the product specifically is called the product Particle Photon. So um, this weekend I was doing a little hackathoning and I came up with a little dashboard. Um, I kind of want to show you what it's about. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a little screen share thing here. All right, I don't know if that's coming in real good, but basically, let's see. So what it is, is it gives you a dashboard. You put your device ID and your access code, and then it allows you in to interact with these different pins. So let me um, show you what this kind of looks like. All right. So let me see if I can focus on that. There is the particle board and on pin 2 I've got this LED. Basically what I'm going to do, we've got the little toggles here, is I'm going to toggle pin 2 and this is not hooked, this, this is not hooked up to the computer. This is, this, uh, I'm getting focused, this is an IoT device. This is literally, could be anywhere. And Photon's really cool. Photon's really cool that they have a cellular network as well, so you can be Wi-Fi or cellular depending on what works for you. So let me show you. <clears throat> right now, this just interacts with digital pins. Uh, let me show you here. So pin pin two. Basically, we're toggling this guy on and off. Boom, boom, kind of thing. So we're toggling that. Got all the seven pins. So, like I said, this is an open source project. Um, the link is going to be in the description for the GitHub account and basically I'm wanting to, moving forward with this, I want to have it so you can schedule times for the pins to be on and off and then also I want to start working with the analog, analog inputs so we can start uh, making decisions and turning things on and off based on sensor data. Um, so that's about it, like I said, hackathoning on a weekend, hanging out, looking, working with some particle. Uh, also, this dashboard is on a website, www.particledashboard.com. Go ahead and take a look. Like I said, it's real easy. Basically, you get your particle device. You don't have to do any coding. You, uh, what you're going to do is, let's actually jump to the computer. I'm going to show you a walkthrough like that. All right. All right, so we're at the uh, computer, and I'm going to show you a walkthrough and how to use this app. Um, so, like I said, here's the device ID. This is going to be the device ID in your particle dashboard that you're going to get once you set your device up. So, here we're at their dashboard. And I'm going to come down to devices. And here's my device, Bobbert. Click this little drop down, and this is the device ID. So, we're going to grab that and stick that into this field. Then, for the access token, what you're going to do is you're gonna hit this settings button which I'm not gonna do because the access token is like a password you wanna keep that secret basically you're gonna click the settings button grab your access token and get that um, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're gonna need to flash your particle drive with the right firmware so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this get firmware code and this is the code that makes all this possible from this the firmware perspective so basically I'm gonna grab hit this but copy button successfully copied um, I'm going to come over here, paste it in here, and then what I'm going to do is click this little button here that's uh, in the upper left that's actually going to flash the, the particle drive itself. So once you've done those steps, basically you're ready to start labbing and, and tinkering with what you got. Um, so like I said, right now this is only working with the digital outputs, so pin 7 through 0. Um, and you're just going to hit like toggle pin 7. You can see it turned on. And then you can turn it off with this, 2, turn it off, turn it back on. Um, so that's where it's at right now. What I want to do in the future is have some input so we can actually have these on timers, um, turning things on and off, and then also start working with the analog inputs for the sensors. Now this is something I have coming next week that I'm very excited about. And it's an IoT relay. Um, basically what this does is these are going to be the inputs for um, one of your pins and you'll be able to turn on and off AC appliances with this IoT device. 
So that's going to be really cool. I'm going to make another video once that comes in. Uh, super exciting stuff, so stay tuned for more. And like I said, um, if you want to connect, you can connect on LinkedIn. i got this little button here that takes it to LinkedIn. Uh, and if you want to do some coding on this thing, go ahead and hit the GitHub and create a pull request. Thanks.